What's up everybody, this is Graphics from Tribute Forums. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hack somebody's IP, kick them offline, whatever you want to do, by using Kane Enable and your command prompt. So what you want to do is open up Kane Enable. Forget about the firewall thing, it doesn't really matter. Um, go over here to network. Click on work group. Go to all computers and make sure that yours is there because if it's not, then this will not work. This is just another computer that I have hooked up. All right, so what you're going to do is go over to sniffer, click this, click this. This right here is your sniffer, this right here is your auto poison. Don't click any of these down here because we're not going to be using those today. So go over here to host, make sure that you're on host. You should not have these two whenever you open it up. It's, these right here should not be here yet. This right here is going to be your router. This right here. I do not even use Apple. I don't know what the hell that is. That's just somebody else around here that I've been connected to. I guess I'll show you how to hack them. Anyways, what you want to do is whenever you're like this, you won't have any of these. So you're going to want to press the plus button. This will add anything. Oh, there's another one. Okay, this is actually the same thing. What you want to do is click on the very first one. Scan the MAC address. Click OK. Then you're going to want to go over here to Auto Poison. Add to the list. Where it says poisoning. This is uh, taking other hashes from other IPs. You're going to want to click the first one. And then if you should have two, like right here. So you're going to want to click the bottom one. And then same time, but do the first one. Okay. Now you should have two now. Now what this is doing is picking up other people's IP addresses. Now I am on the Kane Enable website because I had to re-download it. It crashed. I don't know why. It's just because I have Windows 7 and it wasn't reading it right. So anyways, what this is, what these over here on the left, over here on the left, these right here are the IPs that you are using and they're going to conflict with these ones. Now these over here, most people don't even notice that this is IP addresses. These are the ones that you want. You do not want this because that's yours. And if you, oh, got another one. And if you kick this one off, you're probably going to be screwed because that is yours. You have to get the cable guy to come out and be kind of pissed. So anyways, the ones that 69, 69, that's Microsoft. Do not want those. 74, now that is somebody right there. So you can't do anything else from here. What you want to do is open up the command prompt, type cmd. There you go, command prompt. Oh, snap. That's not good. Okay, well, let me get back over here. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is type in ip release. Now, nothing's going to come up. It's going to say dispatch not recognized. Type in this bottom IP that you're going to get the very, very last one. So is that 74125? Okay, press enter. This badge not recognized. Okay. Control V, Control C. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is IP config slash all. This right here will show you your whole entire network. This right here is the number that you're going to need. Make sure to write this down. Whenever you have it, it's going to be called the DHC, the PV6, the AID. The AID is the one that you want. This whole, this right here is the one that sends hashes and cookies to the other people's IP addresses, kick them offline, or you can do whatever firewall their account and take all their stuff, whatever you want to do. So whatever you want to do this, you want to type in 09098 dash one this right here is going to bring up a screen whenever you press enter if you have on an air cap driver which i now have installed so whenever you press enter another screen will pop up and then you're going to click ok it will say that it may harm your computer i promise you it will not i had mine uninstalled because it was not working properly with my computer i have a different driver in right now but if you have a wireless card like see this is air cap if you have one of these it will work and you just do 
the bottom one and activate scan and you'll get these people's IP addresses that are next to you and you can export this into another file by popping it up right here and typing in their domain so let's see is 432 and once you do this it will bring up another screen and you click boot it will, this will only work with Knable up if you have this minimized at all it will not work it's just letting you know so yeah rate subscribe do whatever you want to do just trying to help some people out that don't know how to boot people offline it's pretty dang simple so once you figure this out yeah